I remember just how young we were, just how excited we were. One, two, three. Swear on my bus pass. I, I swear, swear on my bus, bus pass. pass. Rachel and Rosario were just, I can't explain to you the relationship we had. We loved each other. I wish we wore the cat ears and the, oh, my hair, uh, the cat ears and the tail more. And we were always tripping over each other's tails, stepping on them. <laughs> I hope that you got You played the hell out of those drums, Sarah. Oh, wait, guys, let's show them our hands. Okay. How do they look at it? This is blowing my mind right now. I can cry watching this. We had so much fun. It's an ET. It's an ET. It's an ET. Exclusive. Congratulations, 20 years. Really, like, it put a stamp on, you know, in movie history in a lot of ways. Is this a cult classic? Like, how does that make you feel? I was so excited to be even asked to be a part of this. Mario, Tara, and Rachel, welcome to the set of Those the Who Cats. I remember I had just turned 21 filming in Montreal, and then I started like four days later in Vancouver with these lovely ladies, and I was such a huge fan of theirs. Like, we couldn't go anywhere without people like jumping all over them and freaking out. I was like, big old Macy Gray behind them, like my curly hair, like, ladies, how can I protect you? How can I help you? And he's like, awesome, amazing. You know, I'd only kind of been starting my career, but to be around all these women and to have this community and this love and to be telling this story that was so pro-women and like, just powerful. This is it, Pussycats. Unplugged, let's hear it. Tara, what about you? When you think 20 years, how does that sit with your brain? Well, I know we're older now. <laughs> Rachel and Rosario were just, I can't explain to you the, the relationship we had. It was just so much fun. It, it really was. You played the hell out of those drums, Sarah. You totally had your hands from your feet. That was not easy. You had Rosario and I think we could have faked our instruments a little bit, but if you play the drums wrong, it's so much more yeah. obvious. Yeah. And you were spot on. <laughs> Can I tell you guys something amazing before I forget? Actually. I just saw a clip that Universal put out about the anniversary and things. And there's this moment where Dujour sings into the microphone and they sing the Entertainment Tonight theme song. <laughs> You guys are talking about like, you know, the, the stuff, the clips that they put out. So, you know, the ET vault is undefeated. So we want to take you back because we were on the set of this film. <gasps> oh my God, you guys. Out. So I want to oh, take you no. back. I'm no. scared, Rachel Rosario. What are they going to oh, do us? No. <laughs> Look how cute you guys are. Hey, come on in. Come I want to show you our house. This is where we live. This is Jesse. OMG, I want this! So we want you to come on in and hang out with us, we're eating some cake and brownies. Petting the cats, I'm allergic, so... We are such babies. This is blowing my mind right now. My drums are a little messed up right now. I could cry watching this. This is my favorite movie I ever filmed in my life. I feel like I could have tried a little harder to deliver for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best juicy. I mean, ever. like, I didn't this offer you anything or in our house. Ever. Rosario could never have been replaced. Rachel could never have been replaced. I couldn't have. We had such magical energy. We had so much fun. Like, yeah. and it was incredible. Like, it wasn't just a movie that we made. It was a, a an alliance of, of oh, friendships. Cool and we did everything oh. together. Not only did we work together, as soon as we were off work, we went out. It was amazing. Tara. <laughs> no, do tell. Wait, it was the buffalo wings. Wait, 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 wait. Talk about the buffalo wings. I need we to You don't need that. to talk about the first time I ever had bitters. We don't have to have, we don't have, to have these <laughs> Everybody <laughs> lives. It's OK. Rosario, when you look back at the girls in that video 20 oh years God. ago on that set, what do you think about those girls? These are the legs that I dream of having one day. 
I mean, we were such babies. We had no idea, you know, what it could be later in those moments. Like, it's so weird thinking about how much life has happened now, or, you know, it's 20 years later. I mean, it's it's really, we were, it's twice our age. It just feels like a whole other world has happened. It feels like a million years ago. I'd never met paparazzi until we were doing the premiere for this. So, I mean, for me, it feels like the very, very beginning of the industry. Like, it, so much has happened since. But in that little moment, it was my first time working with big movie stars and, like, this huge, big production and the costumes and everything. And, and it was just, like, I just felt like such an honor. What's a memorable <laughs> moment from, from shooting that fans would get a kick out of that, like, we didn't know? I always say this, and the girls are gonna know this too, but it was so cold in, in Vancouver, and we had these tiny little outfits you've ever seen. In your Especially life. Tara. <laughs> <laughs> Tara's outfit, they'd be like, and here's the scraps that are left off of the yeah, other yeah. outfits. Yeah, yeah. Make an outfit for Tara. Like, ah. Just go. Mm -hmm. I think the <laughs> like, one is in the movie, and one is with us without the movie. When we get on that so freezing scene, and then we saw all of our three Uggs next to each other. It was incredible. Like, I'll Aww. never forget that ever. Like, yeah. it was incredible. And then there was another scene that I did with the girls, and um, <laughs> we just got signed with a record label. And we were in the bathroom. And we're like, oh my God, I can't believe this, I can't believe this. You know? yeah! <laughs> it was such a fun scene to do with them. Everything I did with them, like it, it, to me, we've all moved on and done a money, like a lot of movies, but that was the most special movie I've ever done. It did feel really magical. I, I still can't believe it. every single scene felt like a gift. You know what I mean? I still don't know why they paid me for that. That was just. I don't know. The whole thing felt incredibly. And was the there was not the a bad apple in the bunch. Like usually, there's one people who person who you're like, maybe not him, but like just everyone was incredible. You know. Well, y'all had crazy guest stars. I mean, you talked about Donald yeah. Faison. You had Eugene Levy, Green. Phil Parker Posey, Alan Cumming, Seth Green. When you look back then and you see all these crazy cameos of like big superstars, is it hard to wrap your brain around? <laughs> <laughs> Forever too soon, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Carson. You know, I always thought you were kind of hot. Too bad. <laughs> I left him off just because I was being respectful, Tara. I'm not afraid. Tara's not afraid of anything or anything. I was being respectful. <laughs> Never. Thank you for that. <laughs> Did it not click, though? We had a lot of crazy good cameos here. I was just going to say, I think that's part of one of the things is that we definitely had these really very clear scenes and we got to do a lot of fun rehearsal and all that kind of stuff. But so much of it was just these moments of kind of just capturing us being together mm -hmm. that were unscripted. There's like so many beats in this from, you know, even if it was just because we were doing the music video and we were lip syncing along or whatever, we were jamming or, we were, you know, practicing, you know, we're kind of just doing these montage shots. A big chunk of filming on this was us just being together and vibing together and them just capturing it and then creating these moments with the songs kind of playing. And I, it was such an unusual experience because it really was about our connection to each other, our vibe, like our solidarity. And like you, ca you see it moment to moment. When we have our bus pass moments or whatever it is, it feels so authentic because we really were this like family. Sure. And like you said about the supporting cast, I mean, we got to kind of be the anchors, but what gives the movie so much of its flavor, like I'm going to say 70% of it is the incredible supporting cast that we had. I still can't believe people signed up to do that movie. I mean, I can't because the writing was so exceptional. And I feel like I just want to shout out our directors for like just writing the most incredible script ever. Like their writing is truly the star of the movie. Like Deb and Harry, thank you. I'm so glad that this movie is getting the redemption tour that it is. So, like, all the shout outs. Okay, I mean, can I blow your all's mind uh, just a little bit more? Aaliyah, Beyonce, Lisa Left Eye Lopez all auditioned to be in this movie. And like. I didn't even know that. Did you guys know that? What? Yeah. You didn't know that? No. 
Did you know that? Rachel. They're no Rosario Dawson. Rachel right. knew that. Yeah. How in the world did I get to be a part of this? Because Rachel, Hello. you're a rock star, so you're fine. They were like, we'll give someone a break. They were like, these, these girls are huge, huge superstars. We're like, we'll try the unknown girl. Stop it. You had yeah, all look, the I credibility it, from kids. People were like, oh my goodness. Yeah. She wants to like, you know, be in this on the surface kind of corny pop culture movie. Like, yeah, yeah, get her, please. please I mean, only her. because it's Deb and Harry, because anybody else would have been like, don't have her, don't have her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, they love, I think that. you were their favorite, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Too. There you go, Rosario. That's a little nugget for you to take. For <laughs> wow. Now look at this. her. Now look at Rosario now. She's the, <laughs> like, the biggest movie like star there is. What do you do? What you do to me, baby? Can we talk about the fashion? in this film because it was fabulous. That early 2000s fashion was fabulous. Your favorite wardrobe piece that you actually thought, damn, I look pretty fly in this. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> My favorite piece I wore was like these like like bell bottoms and this like little top. I had it, I wanted to go to the MTV Movie Awards. They let me go, and I wore the same outfit. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> okay, Rachel, what about you? Go, go for it. Oh, man. It's hard to really look back on the fashion and think that I really should have been wearing any of that in life. <laughs> I thought for the film, it was utterly spectacular. Lisa Evans, our costume designer, who's gone on to do a million huge movies, just knocked it out of the park for us. I kind of loved the uh like the sort of ripped up Sid Vicious shirt that they had me in. But the looks overall, I I don't know what to say. I just I think I, I thank every power that is that my eyebrows grew back. That's all I know about the fashion at that time. Which do you prefer? Laney Boggs unibrow or <laughs> Josie super thin <laughs> eyebrows? Good pull. Appreciate that. Laney Boggs thousand percent. I like or Brooke Shields. Call it whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> All of our music video outfits, just I, I thought were just the coolest. Pretend to be nice with the blue lights and dots and the purple lines. and. You guys yeah. killed it. Like there's no one else that could ever play these parts besides Rachel and Rosario. So what about the piece that you loved the least? I didn't have an outfit that I didn't like. It would be more that I wish we wore the cat ears and the, oh, my hair, uh, the cat ears and the tail more. Uh, at least we're not wearing stupid bunny ears. <laughs> they're not funny, they're leopard. And they're not stupid, they're special. We're special. We used to call yeah, I think we should wear the tail. Do you remember though? No, we were like, maybe just one or the other. And Riverdale or like DC Comics had a mandate about wearing the ears and the tails for at least a certain percentage of the movie. And I remember personally being like, do we really need it for this one? I'm gonna take these off. I, I was not as pro tails, and we were always tripping over each other's tails, stepping on them. They were really I really killed each other. I love my tail. Yes, you did. I love my tail. I was all about my tail. I would, I'm, I'm really you bummed that I don't you have my tail in here. Around. I you wish I had them. What? <laughs> one, two, three. Spin around. Can we talk about the music from from the book? Because you got, all three of you all sung background vocals, right? Yeah, that was like that was yeah. exciting. I felt good that we had a little sync on it. We put a little sync on it. And the, the soundtrack went certified gold. So you get royalty checks? No. <laughs> Nada. Nada. That's wow. You, you should be. Rosario, Rosario literally had to try so hard because she had no idea how to play the bass. And Rachel had no idea how to play the guitar. Yeah. And trust me, I had no idea how to play the, the drums. So in the beginning of our, our, our shoot, like before, we had to get lessons and whatever. And then I was talking to them, I can't do it. I can't separate my hands to my feet. I was awful. And I'm like, I'm gonna get, maybe they're gonna not let me do the movie. These, these girls started rocking it out. And I'm like, oh my god, they're so ahead of me, and I can't even, I can't even do my hands and my feet. And then we. Aaron, do you think if you picked up, a, if you picked up a set of drums today, could you still rock out? I can definitely. I know my hands and my feet now. I like, <laughs> but you know what? I do the best bongos. Like, I could be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about 
<laughs> Rachel, Rosario, what about you guys? Do you think you could still maybe pick up your instrument, a guitar or anything and do a little something? I think we could, yeah. but I think it's funny though, is like even in that moment though, where we were practicing so much, like there's that beat at the very end. Like I always look at the moments when we're playing on screen, if we keep it. And there's definitely times where I was like, I, knew, I saw the camera coming by and I was like, I'm gonna do you were awesome. the part that I remember. But there's the beat when at the very end and you two are kissing and I come up with the bass and it's a, you hear the bass playing in the background like, the holding music where yeah. I'm like, you gotta get back to the concert. You and my hands are not doing anything that they're supposed to be doing. Because one of my favorite things to do is like watch movies and go like, when it doesn't connect. I'm like, what? I, I mean, I came over, I had a line. I was like, where was my head? I, I clearly couldn't speak and do the That's a lot. I, think, I think that was one of the best things that like Rachel, Rosario, and myself got to do is like learn these, I mean, if we never did Justin the Pussy Cats, trust me, I would have never learned the drums. She probably would never learn the guitar, and, and you know, Rogue probably would never learn the bass. But we got good at it. I mean, that last concert we had when the stage went up and they had all the extras, I mean, I honestly feel like I was a rock star. It was really fun. I felt proper. I mean, there was tens of thousands of people there or something. It was, it was, it was full on. You, you all had kind of touched on the message of this film and kind of the girl power of it. So I want to rewind yet again. Here comes the ET vault again. The story is really strong. I mean, it really stresses individuality and, and strength and love and support from friends. How strong do you think that message still stands today? I mean, I see the sisterhood here. That was so beautifully said, Rosario. Thank you for... <laughs> Taking well, you're a rock star, okay, dude. Yeah, you're just a, you're that just was a perfect. Character. Character. <laughs> I mean, it's still the thing that I care about the most, you know. And yeah. and I, I love. I think that there was a lot of important messages in here, especially now. You know, everything is. You know, I call them the bikes. <laughs> um, I have like it's like the, the the dawning, like the just the how much you know. Like I, I talk about this actually. Back in the day when you said something was nice, someone just said, that looks nice, thank you so much. And that was it. Now they go where they bought it, how much it costs, if, where's it on sale? Like everyone's a walking commercial. You would think that maybe everything is embedded with some kind of subliminal messaging. We decide everything from what clothes are in style to what slang is in vogue. Like it's just about product placement everywhere. It was mm -hmm. so clear back in the then and very conspicuous and why are we doing this and no one wanted to be a part of it and now it's, it's just beyond the norm. You know, I was watching people in concerts literally like spelling out the letters to the different, you know, soda, you know, uh, you know, things they were trying to promote. And like, give me a P, give me an E, give me a P, you know, and you're like, this is just, it was, we were really ahead of our time in a lot of the messaging I think that was in this. And I think that's one of the reasons why this is, this, this film really holds because there's some really important themes that have needed very much to be worked out. Right? We were totally ahead of our time. We mm -hmm. didn't have social media then. And and our movie was almost out too early, you know, than what it would have been now. Mm -hmm. Now everyone understands it. The millenniums, you know, like but no one I think at first got it. And then after time they did. And, and, I can't tell you, I'm sorry, Rachel and, and Rosario will take the same thing. How many people come up to me and say it changed your life? That's crazy, right? Have you guys gotten that? Mm -hmm. I, I did an interview the other day with Sirius XM about this and the, uh, the person doing the interview said that he had spoken to a lot of bands who said, I actually realized that I could start a band because of Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> Good news, bad news, you, you don't even have to do You can just pretend to start a band. <laughs> I, oh, I tried to buy oh, the rights sorry. for Josie. Good news, bad news, but um, wait, Terry, you tried to buy the rights for Josie and the Pussycats? Yeah, I did. And the guy that owned it was uh, not so friendly. Oh, and because the movie, well, like, I'm Tara Reid in, in the theaters, so what? he was like, no, like, and I wanted us to do it because like we're still not, we still look young, you know, and like I thought, man, if we could do one more of Josie and the Pussycats, and you know. Rosario could rock out, Rachel could rock out, we could, I think it'd be really fun, but obviously we got, we, we got turned down there, guys, <laughs> but I tried. 
Hey, Rachel, let me ask you this one because you, um, you know, you mentioned before you, you kind of talked about a tribe. What did this opportunity, like doing a, a movie like this, teach you about like what a good girl group means to your life and like, you know, having that kind of support from a good, a good tribe? Well, I mean, generally, of course, it's the most important thing. I, I think the most important things like in my life, and I hope every young girl's life is to have great girlfriends, but just to speak, you know, personally, um, I was at a point in my life when we made this movie where I was just sort of bouncing from job to job and I would sort of be usually dating someone and I would make friends with his friends, but then when he left, I would sort of be left to my own devices and I didn't really have a lot of close girlfriends at that time. And um, Tara and Rosario were, I'm not gonna get emotional, <laughs> but they were, really, they were really, really there for me. And um, I was kind of lonely before uh, I met them. They meant a lot to me. <laughs> I love you, Rachel. <laughs> I really love you both so much. It really was like such a really remarkable, remarkable, remarkable experience. Your mom. And I'm really glad that social media and all that stuff wasn't going on around then because we really, this was an experience where people weren't on their phones and disappeared. Like people talked to each other and engaged, like the whole crew, we really, we created a real vibe that was just really loving and I'm supportive and caring. Her, but your mom made a huge difference on that set. She's a huge <laughs> mom made the movie, I think. She was every mom. Rachel and Rosario though, have your kids seen this? Have you guys got to introduce them to this movie? My kids are. I don't know if my daughter's watched it yet. Mm -hmm. Does she watch your other movies? How does she feel about like? She doesn't things? watch stuff with me. <laughs> She'll come She'll back and say, say "She's like, so I watched Rent." I'm like, "When did you watch Rent? I wanted to watch that with you." You know, she just does these things. So I don't know. She this is her jam. She loves music. Mm -hmm. She loves girlfriends and like girl power. Like she loves dress up. She loves like all of it. Like this is so her jam. So I really wouldn't be surprised because she also, she loves cats. She loves animals. She loves the whole thing. This is her world. This is cool actually. It would be fun to sit down and watch it with our kids. Are you, are you, so you, your kids haven't seen it either? Someone tell my kids that I'm awesome. Cause oh. like they have not, <laughs> but they're like, are you on this? I'm like, don't make that face. Like. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Joes. And I love you, Val. And I love you, Mel. Ladies, thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the time. This was so much fun. I hope y'all got out uh, as much out of it as I did, because this was a good time. It was great. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.